ladies and gentlemen, introducing you to this contest on our program here tonight. Interstate rivals, undefeated versus undefeated. And tonight, somebody's O has got to go. Introducing to you first, standing across in the blue corner. Weighed in officially 83.70 kilos. From Melbourne, Victoria, he's trained out of the Combat 1 MMA gym. His record, three fights, three wins, yet to taste defeat. This is Mustafa! Water. His opponent across the cage fighting out of the red corner. Weighed in officially 84.20 kilos. From right here in Brisbane, the River City, he's trained out of the integrated MMA gym. He too holds a perfect record. Three fights for three wins yet to taste defeat. Make some noise. This is Toby Sam. Referee, we've the back in the middle, Mr. Phil Cassidy. Fight number eight brought to you by CTBS. See the C team at CTBS for all tax, finance, and business accounting and advice. Head to ctbs.net.a for more information on how CTBS can help your business. Mustafa Wardak in the blue, Toby Zhang in the red, and immediately the theme of the night, it just keeps going. A big double leg, Zhang gets him down. Wardak immediately trying to go for a... A figure four grip, but he doesn't have the legs beneath him. Oh, he seems to be working for him, at least to get enough leverage, Jaden. Yeah, it looks he's he had a good bite on it, but Sang managed to uh, straighten his arm out. He's, it looks like he's got a, a decent grip on the arm there, but the problem with this is, is if you can't get it to work, your arms are absolutely cooked after the fact. And it, it looks now that Sang was able to, to free his arm. Yeah, man, like you look at those arms that you were talking about, and one of Sang's arms is like one of my legs. Like if you're trying to, you're trying to figure for that thing, it will probably gas you out way too quick. Yeah, it looks like Sang's not showing it too much respect. He doesn't seem too stressed about it. He's got to watch out. He can pull up on this one. He's got a Kimura of his own, but Wardak uses it to come out on top. He still doesn't have ownership of that arm. Yeah, interesting move by Sang. It looked like he was almost baiting Wardak to, to fully lock the Kimura so he could try and reverse him. Mm. He ends up on the bottom for his troubles. It was quite the battle for this grip. Oh, I love that. When in doubt, you just start, just find a, a squishy part and just knuckle it. As Wardak gets on top, almost going for a buggy joke is Sang. I mean, with one leg, it might prove difficult. Yeah, well, I think Ward, Wardak was a little bit wise to it. It, it. it seems like it's not real until you're caught in one, and then everything just starts to go black. Nice frames from Sang. He's not really using them as yet. Collecting a leg. Is Mustafa Wardak taking the dominant position. And again, but from this position... This one actually looks pretty deep. I would not be surprised if Sang finishes this. That's crazy. That's crazy because you can see the, the, the amount of pressure that he's literally putting on. Oh, and he, oh man, wow. he used it to get on top. I kind of criticized him before, and I'm eating my own words. <laughs> that, was a, that, was, that was a good outcome for Wardak, I would say. That looked really tight. He had to trade position, but he was able to get out of the buggy choke. Now with Sang on his back. Hard to see if the hands are locked. Zhang is squeezing. He's got to have something there. Oh, I'm brilliant. Wardak gets rid of it, gets rid of the support hand, and a lot of the pressure of that choke just goes with it. Still super, super calm is Wardak. He's got that arm stuck. If he throws it over his head, he can go into guard, but no. Zhang able to get enough control that he can keep himself on the back. And that's the end of round one. Dude, could you imagine if that buggy choke from half guard reversal was in the UFC? Everybody on Monday would just be like doing these weird stretches to be able to pull that thing off. But here we see fighting for this position, Wardak going to the body, trying to break down Sang, and here's that reversal. It's so weird. He like almost had, he had to respect it, and it ended up with Sang on top. So. Man, plenty of ways to skin a cat.
Yeah, if you've never been on the receiving end of a, a tight buggy choke, uh, it might look like a bit of a gimmick, but I assure you, Wardak was probably very relieved that Sang traded in position to get out of that, that buggy choke. Round two in the middleweight division. Mustafa Wardak, Toby Sang. I'll be interested to see these guys strike just a little, little bit more so we can get the measure of what we could be missing out on the feet. Oh, and Zhang says, no, thank you. <laughs> it's like he heard me and was like, absolutely not. Really good position. You can just see how educated the legs of Zhang are. As soon as he gets him down and it's almost even close to a half guard, he's gobbling up that leg and controlling it. And that's that differentiator in that MMA striking. You want to you want to free up an arm at least by any means possible. So your legs are doing a lot of the control work and these traditional positions like half guard, they really don't serve you from the bottom. Yeah, absolutely. And Wardak's now got his arm caught by Sang as he was trying to get up. He posted up on the elbow, but unfortunately that opens you up to this handcuff position. Man, you can just hear the thump in that. Wardak reaching out for the bicep, just trying to frame on that thing. Oh, as it, Sang gets at least the hook in, goes for that side ride position. And man, Wardak is just finding himself in a horrible spot. Power half. Oh, under the neck. Wardak having to spin. He's still not out of the woods. He had the support arm for a second. This is a deep squeeze. That's going to be a tap, and it is. Sang just proving way too much. And Mustafa Warner just facing defeat for the very first time. And Toby Sang gets the job done, cool as a cucumber. Enforced his will in the grappling department, gets the victory. Man, what a talented kid. I can't think of another another guy at middleweight in the amateurs offhand at least anyway that could stand in here with him but he needs to find another opponent and ASAP as we head to our next gen construction replay big body lock takedown straight into half guard uses it to upgrade takes the back and just attack 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 gets the submission yet another submission victory for Sang Another one is allergic to the judges as we head back into the cage with James O'Shea. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we'll get set to make this one official as we get our two fighters to send a ring. Show your appreciation for our uh, two stars in the ring here, ladies and gentlemen. Give them a big round of applause and a big thank you to CTBS for sponsoring uh, this bout. Ladies and gentlemen, 1 minute 22 of round number two. Your victory coming by submission courtesy of a rear naked chokehold. And it goes to the red corner, Toby! Sam. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we'll grab a couple of words with our winner. You walked into the cage undefeated. You walk out of the cage undefeated. Another one on the record. Yeah, 4-0. Oh. Um, I've TKO'd submission and, um, yeah, I've shown I've got grappling. Unfortunately, I went straight back to that at the start. It's been a while since I've been in here, but uh, I'd like to show more next time around. But certainly with the grappling, you found your opportunity there and obviously and just seized it. Yeah, I had that a bit of ring rust at the start there, as you can see. I gave up a position for that, what I don't know, shitty Americana, so a little bit unhappy with that, but I found the footing in the end and got it done. And to do it here in front of this crowd, so uh, another victory, it must be nice. Yeah. Thank you all for coming out. I know there are a lot of people here that support me. It means the world, so thank you very much. We've seen a lot of good performances here tonight. You add to that list. What's next? What does the future hold for you? Based on that performance, the next is to get a lot better. Um, I've got to keep more active, that's evident, because I was rusty, but um, hopefully early next year, be back in, keep working. Got the job done tonight. Congratulations, enjoy it, and look forward to what's next. Thank you. I'd just like to thank my team, coaches, they're the best in the game, and we're all supporting each other and moving on up, so thank you. Congratulations.